take two. I totally didn't forget to hit the button the first time. <laughs> ah, so refreshing. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Super convincing. <laughs> What is up guys, we out here and we are in Duncan's driveway installing a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set of BC coilovers. Look at these bad boys, oh my God. Oh my God. And Duncan, I don't know anything about beamers, so like, can you tell us about this thing? <laughs> uh, they're just BRs, they're the basic set, just no Swift springs or anything, mm -hmm. just regular kit. Okay. Like 8K in the front, 12 in the rear. Okay. Nice. So right now we're just taking off his wheels and then we're gonna get straight to the install. You're familiar with the classic hip hop albums that the duo pretty much use as instruments. All right, all right. So what are we up to now, Duncan, now that we got the wheel off? Well, now we loosen the lower bolt for the, or for the strut. Now we gotta take the stab length off and then we'll go to the top mount and then we'll release it off. Okay. If this works well, we'll see with rust. It's spinning. Vice grips. Is it? These ones? Actually, you got smaller ones. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're doing great, sweetie. This looks beautiful. <laughs> well, we're replacing these anyway, so I don't really give a fuck. Okay. This episode is brought to you by Miller Genuine Draft, baby. Beer of choice. Beer of choice. Like a charm. Did it work? Yeah. Okay. Of course it does. Beautiful. Fucking man. Oh, it's because of the fucking tension on the bar. <sighs> what can I use for leverage? How about this? Fuck a pry bar. Ooh. Getting the Mac tools. Lifetime warranty. Nope. Oh, get it Look for a big fucking hammer. Alright, so Duncan's looking at looking for a big fucking hammer, but look at this. I'm actually so excited. This is gonna be sick. Oh my god. All right, so we got this set up on a jack stand. Duncan's working on this side. And then we're gonna get down and into it, baby. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh. Don't you be bitch now. The moment you realize you should have left the extension. Back end mint, super rusty. Oh, oh, saved it. Nice. That's Ooh. why that was hard. Canada, or Canada, Canada. Okay. There you go. Now that's all out of the way. Now we go up here, take the top off there. Size? What size nut you think we're using? I mean socket. I think it's a, I think it's a 13? 13? Okay. Yeah, it's 13. Oh, okay. Alright, then like reflexes. Do you want me to like hold anything or? Oh, okay. Can I make it fall farther in and then down? Another break. Oh, okay. Beautiful shot. Sponsored by Miller? Not really. <laughs> Miller sponsors, please keep watching this video. Yeah. Sponsorship and 
imagine a beer company sponsoring like a like vlog channel about like driving cars. Yeah, that'd be pretty great. I think that that sounds right. Especially a bunch of dickheads with rusty shit boxes. Yes. Well, this is being spectacular. That's the, definitely the ball joint that's maxing out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you have to take it off? I don't. I'm definitely not going to. Yeah. I can guarantee you that. I'm trying to think about how I can pry this guy down. Maybe I can like literally stand on it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh shit, my fender. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty piece of shit life. Okay, when I push it down, grab you it? grab it and pull it out. Okay, All right, man, I'm just gonna move the beer. Try not to push it. Oh wait, what if we just push it back over and then I can lift it up and out using that. What do you mean? Like now it's got room to like pull up and out of here. I don't know if it does though. Oh, okay. But it's not enough. Oh, oh now it is. Beautiful, I helped guys. Look at that. And one strut out. Ooh. Now let's do the new bad boy. Front. We need the front left. How do you know which side is which? Oh, okay. Front front left. Left. It's idiot proof. Thank you, BC. For people like me. Dude, these are so nice. <laughs> I'm a mechanic, not a genius. Oh my god. New hardware? Oh, okay. We don't even need these then. No. New hardware. Where should I put them? You got the camber plates on the top too. Okay. You can adjust them and you can take out these bolts and put them to the middle bolts so you can even get more. Oh, Because like, you're limited okay, yeah. here originally. Like you could take these out and put them to there if you want more camber. Which way? It's pretty dope. Okay. It's got the dampening too? Yeah. It's fucking goddamn a ton of settings. I'm gonna have to look up where I'm supposed to put them, but I really don't know. <laughs> okay, oh, these nice. look short as fuck. Like these are ridiculous. Damn. These are ridiculously short. Okay, so I say just max it out right now so it's easier, and then what do you, you can mean? just sh be slammed. Like all the way down here. Yeah, yeah. Just max all. Do you the think so? All the way. We could. Are you down? Like. I mean, I'm kind of. I want to see where it goes. It's very easy to convince me to do these things. I mean, everyone else like always puts them on, and then like this, I was like, okay, after they settle, we'll. Whoa, what? New uh, stablings. No way. Yeah. Because I think they're a different size. I think these have to be longer. Oh, that's sick. Are they shorter? I, I, I don't know. They're a bit shorter. Okay. Like, how slam do you want to be? Like, I don't want to be no bitch. Okay. I like that answer. All right, so that's these good. bad boys, they're the huh? BCBR type. And uh, I'm also running those on my car. I'm maxed out front and back. So, hope. So Duncan's whip should look something like this after. There's a fitment, but yeah, here we go. Oh, these things are beautiful. Look at this. Jeez. Dude, you should have, you should have seen how ridiculous this was to get in. And now once it's in, it's so fucking easy. Like Alright Duncan, what's going on right now? Fucking take out the jack so we can push this strut up. Alright. So once we take out the jack on that side and put a jack stand on, we're just gonna jack up the whole rotors and everything up with the jack. And easy peasy, we're gonna get this in. You ready for the worst sound in the world? Yes. Or jack on concrete. <laughs> no. It's beautiful. Okay, we got him in. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Same size. Double check that. Aftermarket hardware. Are they? I don't think so. Oh no, they. I think they're twelve. Oh shh. Yeah, they're twelve. I'm glad I checked. Ooh, dude, I almost just dropped that. Don't lose your nuts. I was. I'll do my best. They were 12. I'm glad I fucking checked. Nice.
approximately tight enough. <laughs> Legit. Oh my god, that looks so sick. Yeah, look how saucy they are down here too. Oh my! Oh! It's so weird. Actually, I guess it's tight. I could even just run stock. But I actually, mean, you know, that, well, hit, just... that hits my control arm. That's oh, why they know. give you shorter ones. Oh. Wait, where, where's it hit? See right down there. That's literally on my control arm right now. See my fingers? I don't know if I can see it in the camera, but I'm hoping I'm getting it. It's right, oh. right there. Yeah. Hitting, hitting my control arm. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Take two. I totally didn't forget to hit the button the first time. <laughs> Ah, so refreshing. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Super convincing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now, what's the next step for all like right. installing? So, what are these called again? Stab links. Stab links. Well, you're and oh, anti sway bar end links. Okay. If you want to get all fancy with them. I got these beautiful spanners. And if you call them a sway bar, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> they don't sway your car. They're, they're, stop that. Part of my language. Um, seems about not right. What was this? Like? Oh, fuck, I don't know. This is 16. Dude, that looks so nice. It does, right? Oh, there you go. To fix the car, you must be the car. <laughs> Uh, makes it a bit easier. <laughs> not gonna lie. You want to go get something to hold this down? Out? Oh, just get the jack. Put it under there. Yeah. Alright, just jack that. Good enough. Yeah. I just don't want it to be on the brake line. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cannot stop. I think that's working. I think it is. I, I don't know. It's, I totally think it's working. Uh, it is. Okay. That was easier than I thought. Cool. BMW. BMW. <laughs> Ultimate driving machine. I don't know why Dude, I'm sounding I like Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice, though. That gold. Yeah, these are saucy. They got new crush nuts, too. Okay. Yeah, replaced all the steering on this car now. Have you actually? I've replaced, I just did outers and inners. I've done these control arms. I have done, oh, that's it. <laughs> I've done <laughs> the fucking coilovers and the stab links now too. Okay. And, and the next step is to get a fucking hotchkeys for the front, so. Ooh. Whatever the fuck you say that stupid name. All right guys, I'm just gonna pause the vlog real quick. We're making an edit, so we gotta get some artsy shots with the other camera. By the way, I'll do camera review later, but uh, yeah, one second. Okay, all right, so Duncan's out here lo lowering trying, it. Trying and to measure the sauce level we want to get to. How saucy do you want it? Uh, I'm just thinking, like, to start it off, you can always raise it back up. So, like, that might be a good idea. Just sauce. I think so. I think so. Can we get a like and a comment down below on the amount of sauce that this is? Jeez. Get a tight and then spin it. Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and I'm about to show you guys how to lower the coilovers. Okay, pretty much all you gotta do is just. Can you hold the camera? Uh, I'll try. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. Hands. Just. Did I grab the wrong one? Oh, wait, no. You just grab... Okay, you grab the top ring and just spin it. Bro, I'm trying to get. Huck a huge Larry. Spin to the left. And what that's doing is that's sp spinning the entire coilover down into here, which is going to lower it. It's going to take a bunch of these spins to lower the whole thing, but it's better to do it now and like make sure you wash these and like actually take care of them so they don't get all rusty and seized up on you through like the winter and stuff. Yeah. Lube is the way. Lube is the way. Oh, and if you want, like I'll, I'll make another video about like coilover covers. That's what I do in the winter. Yeah, I probably got to get a pair, pair of those. Oh, too. dude, my mom just made me some out of some old rain pants that really? my dad had. That's flawless. And they actually work perfect. Like they look. I think your camera died. All right, we're gonna do a wheel uh, fit just to like oh, make sure everything fits. I'm retarded. What? Oh wait, we can just take out the. I was gonna say the jack's in the way. You can just take out the jack. Because you can't put the wheel on the jack. <laughs> Big brain move by us. Good <laughs> catch. 
I was honestly like, what are you waiting for? Just stick it on. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> big brain stuff going on. Like, more than just a hat rack, folks. Yeah. Fact. Okay, beautiful. Oh my god, these are so sick. Not bad. It'll sit like around there, the tiniest bit lower. So I think there's still there's still slam. We got lots of room to take it to like here. Like this is like lower. Well, we, if we take it here. to like here, like when I was show, yeah. show the just the continental, slam it back a little bit, tilty boy style. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, we may even have possibilities to just go fender to lip. Like, in the in the future, I do. I have spacers for the front too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Fi I have 15 mils, so I could even fucking. Wait, how many fingers is this? That's three fingers. Okay, we'll take it off and see how many. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait, is it like stuck on there? No, it's just on the head. Oh, okay. Just don't want to scratch <laughs> Nice. New wheels, thanks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, wait. Okay, so we had three finger gap before. We got that much. So if we like max it out, you should be like just talking the wheel. All right, let's do it. Yeah? Okay. I love to hear it. Beautiful. So you know what to do. Uh, just stick it on the top here and then just turn to the left. Big Larry's. This way, right? Yeah, yeah, just start. Oh, wait, wait. Raise this up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm not used to these. And that, folks, is how you raise and lower your coilovers. To do it on the... To raise them up, you just spin it to the right. It depends on which side you're facing uh, with, like, the car. Obviously. So, if you're on the driver's side, go to the front of the vehicle. Dude, are we sure we're raising All right. Are we, Pardon? Are we doing this right yeah, yeah, we're lowering it. Should be. I'll trust you. And I'll throw that. <laughs> hey, <are> you, yeah. <laughs> I throw you. All right, so yeah, if you want to lower your car and you're on the driver's side, throw your wrench at least three times to the front of the vehicle. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, fun fact: these recycling boxes are amazing to sit on. Oh jeez, I'm I'm not even doing the work. I'm just sitting here holding the camera, dude. Sit on this. <laughs> oh, what? 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 It stopped there. Did it? Yeah, I can't turn it more. Really? Yeah. It's on mine, I can just turn the most. Wait, j try pushing it harder. It's pretty tight. Really? Yeah. Like, look. All right. I don't know if I'm covering the mic. I'm holding the cameras between my knees, but the way you tighten these two. Right here, I'm, we're pretty sure this is maxed out. It's not letting us go down anymore, so it's got to be. But you tighten, you push opposite ways with each spanner wrench like that, and that tightens these two together. Then you make sure that these, this bottom lock ring, is just locked in nice and tight. You don't want to over tighten it because then that makes it a pain if you want to adjust it later. So like, yeah, yeah, okay, so just nice, nice and snug like that. And there you go. We've got what less the, we've got like a fingertip ish right in there, like a fingertip this way. So we're gonna have some nice fitment on this bad boy after. Yee. 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 All right, so we're pretty much done with this side. We just gotta get the stab link on there. And then my god, I just found this out. Duncan just keeps this beautiful thing of coolant just right here. Look at that. Like that's so convenient. You can always tell how shitty a BMW is by how many fluids they have to keep up there. <laughs> All right, look at that. We installed the... Shit, what are those called again? Anti-sway bar and works. All right. The way we did that is we loosened this side as well. And it made it way easier, like just so, so much easier to get that up in, in there because it was so much shorter. Okay, here we are. I definitely need a flashlight, but we got the second coil over and we just got to attach everything. And it's going actually like really well, I think. Surprisingly good for yeah. a 17 year old chip box. Yeah, geez. All right. Uh, you can't really see anything, but, and he's got the wheels twisting us on the jack right now, but we installed both front coilovers. It sits beautifully. I'll show the footage I got from the other camera, but my god it's sick he's he's gonna have to cut out a piece of the inner like fender liner because it's rubbing on the tires but it is so sick yeah. 
All right, so it's day two. We out here. We got a new lens. We're in. Oh, okay. And Duncan installed these coil over the rear coilovers. I sadly didn't get to get that footage because I slept in and was at Best Buy for too long. Yeah, it was like two o'clock. Yeah, and then I forgot my wallet at home as well. So, yeah, that I could have been more prepared on my part. <laughs> But oh, oh, okay, okay. But yeah. Anyways, Duncan, how was the rear install? Pretty easy. Yeah? What'd you have to do? Like literally one bolt on each side. That's it? Strut bolt. And then Wait, that's it? Yeah. Nothing. What? And then the top. Damn. Okay. Jeez. How much? How you doing, Matt? Oh, that's sick. Alright, trying to get a better angle on this. Oh! A new fucking tire. <laughs> well, these are new tires. So. Drive test? Drive test. Yes! Alright, we're back in out of Duncan's driver right now for the drive test. TC's right there. Ford F-150's right there. Duncan looking sexy as ever. Alright, you bumper. And so I will. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can hear it kind of rubbing back there. Right? Yeah, it's just scraping the front too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can hear it rubbing in the back. <laughs> Their max stiffness on, and that gap is not that small. Yeah. Like this side, on the right side, smaller. It almost sounds like plastic, though. Yeah. Right. I I I think it's the quarter ru ru uh, rubbing on the sidewall. Mine did that. Oh. Here's the before and after. Here's now, and then here's the before. Look at that monster truck fitment and then boom he's tucked look at that oh my god that's sick and look how tight the back the tight's super tight can't can't even get a finger in it Jeez! so Duncan what are your final thoughts on the BC coilovers passes the fitment test okay my shoe doesn't even fit beautiful beautiful 